grouping of cells. From a single cell, only limited amount of current can be drawn. In order to have large value of current, the cells are usually connected in series or in parallel or cells are mixed. Cells are in series. When n identical cells, each of EMF, epsilon and internal resistance R are connected to external resistance capital R as shown. When the cells are connected in series, the total EMF of series combination is equal to the sum of the EMFs of the individual cells. Thus, equivalent EMF of the cells in series epsilon equals to epsilon plus epsilon plus epsilon plus so on equals to n epsilon equivalent internal resistance of n cells in series small r eq equals to small r plus small r plus small r plus so on equals to n small r total resistance of the circuit equals to capital R plus n small r current through the external circuit is to I equals to total EMF by total resistance I equals to n epsilon by R plus n small r case 1 if capital R much less than n small r, then capital R can be neglected in comparison to n small r. Then I equals to epsilon by r. Thus, the current in the external resistor is the same as maximum current due to single cell. Case 2. If r much greater than nr then nr can be neglected as compared to capital r then i equals to n epsilon by capital r thus the current in the external resistor is n times the current due to a single cell series combination is advantageous one when large emf is required two when internal resistance is negligible compared to external resistance.